Welcome to Lecture Online. Another important set of points on a thick lens are what we call the nodal points. And the way to find them is to have a ray enter the lens, but not directed towards the very center of the lens and on the optical axis. We, of course, would expect if there was no refraction at the boundary for the ray to continue until it hits the optical axis at this point. But instead, if the ray then bends or refracts, goes to the center of the lens at the same place where the optical axis goes through right there and then continues in this direction and then as it emerges on the other side assuming that the the two curves on both side lens are equal to one another that these rays then would be parallel to one another of course they're not coincident they would be parallel then notice again if we draw a straight line from this ray across the boundary without bending or refracting until we hit the optical axis, these two points where they hit the optical axis are called the nodal points. So we have N1, the front nodal point, and N2, the back nodal point. Now there are very close relationships between those two points, the nodal points, and the principal points. The reason is, and here I have written it out, if the refractive index in front and behind the lens on this side of the lens and on this side of the lens, if the refractive index is the same on both sides, then the nodal points are coincident to the principal points. In other words, they are one and the same if the refractive index of the material outside the lens, presumably air, is the same on both sides. And so what we can then say is if we draw these rays like this, then we can say that this here would be the front principal plane and then this here would be the back principal plane and then the nodal points would also be the principal points on the front and the back the primary and secondary principal points so again there is a relationship there between the nodal points and the principal points and this is how we can define that